Hi everyone, my name is Raj Shekhar. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll be exploring the workflow of laser. A laser is something which we've been uh, ignoring all these while in our channel since the beginning. To be frank, I was under the impression that laser requires a different workflow, gets patched differently. Uh, maybe the way it's connected in champs is also uh, is different. I was thinking in that angle all these while. I recently figured out patching a laser and simulating it is as simple as, as you would do for a pyro or fireworks for that matter using dimmer channel. That's why I made this video to make you all aware of the workflow and touch on the topic which we never tried to explore. This happens to be uh, a virtual set which uh, I've been uh, testing DMX lights on it. Sometime soon I'll come up with a tutorial on that. Mm, but this video will primarily focus only on the laser and its uh, workflow. I'll not be covering the basics. People who are new to DMX systems, please watch the card which I'm putting on the screen. Get to know the basics completely and then get back to this video. The best part of laser is that it has a visual guide like this, a light uh, throws. This uh, helps you to place them uh, effectively. The very first time when you drag and drop the laser fixture, you will not see the lights like this. Uh, let me show you what I meant. I am selecting all the lasers from Outliner and setting it all default. So this is how a laser will look when you first time drag and drop it to the screen. So this is barely visible be it length or the thickness of the beam. So we will have to begin by modifying this attribute for us to see it better. So select all the lasers, go to details and change the beam length to whatever you want. I'm putting a number 3000 and beam width to 30. In your case, depending on the map size, depending on how thick you want uh, the beam, you can take a call and put that number there. So the moment I put it, you can now see it looks much better. And I used this as a reference to place laser from this angle as well. You can see I made sure it's crossing each other and it's pointing in that direction so all because I was able to see this now let's get inside DMX library and see the functions of laser and how it's patched so DMX library fixture types laser has three functions one is your mode start and stop angle number of beams the first function is your dimmer on off uh, the two is angle beams patch laser is patched from universe 4 from address 301 until 324. So we have eight numbers of laser. So let's get inside uh, CAMSYS and get to know how uh, lasers were linked to dimmer channels there. So CAMSYS is up. I've patched all the lasers as dimmer. So eight lasers in total. Each laser has three functions. So three times eight is 24. So we need 24 dimmer. So I patched 24 dimmers from address 301 of fourth universe until 324. The moment you patch a dimmer, it gets grouped uh, to the default uh, dimmer group and layout. The moment you click on a dimmer, it selects all the dimmer channels, which we don't want. We are only concerned about the dimmer starting from fourth universe, which is over here. So left click on one of the dimmer first to deselect everything. Select every other dimmer in order. Press and hold your shift key and select everything. And let's keep this window aside. And let's play the Unreal Engine. The moment I hit locate, as you can see, it has triggered all the function of the laser. I'll make a separate group of this. With this selected, click on record. And I've created, uh, I'll maximize. I've created a group called laser all. In a similar way, I've created a group for dimmer of all the laser, angle of all the laser, beams of all the laser. How did I create this dimmer group? I'll just show you one example. Uh, remaining two is same so I'll go to view has this is one laser this is the second set of laser and this is the third set so if you want a dimmer group of all the laser we need to select the dimmer channel of all the laser so the first laser is dimmer leave two dimmer next two dimmers select the third one ignore the next two third in a similar fashion keep selecting your dimmers Okay, in that way we have selected all the dimmers of all eight lasers. Let's keep the window aside. With this selected, if I hit locate, as you can see, it has triggered uh, all the lasers 
Dimma channel. So before creating any group, please make sure to click on clear and then proceed. So in order to create a, a group for angle, same uh, method as above. Click on the Dimma group, go to heads, go all the way down to the fourth universe. Click on the first element or anywhere, just click once to deselect uh, everything. So select the second function of the first laser, hold shift, don't select next two dimmers. Click on the third dimmer, follow the same method by uh, leaving two dimmers in between and selecting the third one. So we have selected all the angle uh, function of uh, lasers, but when you hit locate, nothing will happen. Why? Because this is not a dimmer channel, although it's a, it's a patch to dimmer, but the function which you're triggering is not a light, it's a property. So don't expect it to glow or anything to happen on screen. Select them all and then record it to a group. Repeat the same uh, process for the third function as well, which is your number of beams. Select the third of uh, first laser. Don't select next two dimmers, third. Similarly, go on and record it to a group. And again, when you locate, nothing will happen as well because this is a property. So let's begin by testing all the groups. I'll begin by selecting the first group, which is all the properties of laser. So it has located, everything is lit up. One thing to keep in mind, you'll not be able to change the color of laser from CAMSYS as such, because there is no color function uh, for laser in Unreal Engine as such. You'll have to manually change color in Unreal Engine's details tab for the lasers. So let's add an FX to the laser group. Click on the laser group. Add FX. We'll be able to apply only intensity FX to a laser. So intensity, dim chase. And the moment you apply a dim chase, you'll have to change this value of plus on add to absolute. The moment you change the value to ABS, you can notice it has started simulating. You can play with the time, how fast you want, how slow you want. You can play with these values to you know, get to know how it behaves. Now let's try the second group. This is the dimmer of all laser. Selecting this, I'm locating it. Now if I add an FX to it, intensity, dim chase, changing it to apps. And now if you see, randomly it pops on and off. This is a different effect which we have got. So I'm changing the timing. You see it's faster. I can make it slower. I can make it more faster as well. So this is one look which we've got. And you can also further play with the settings over here and what happens. Now let's uh, look into the next two groups. So for these, these two to work, we need to work it out differently. So you need to select the laser all group, locate it, but add FX to this angle or beams. So let's try to add an FX to angle. The moment you change it to absolute, you can see we have a different FX on the screen right now. You can play with these values and you can get a different effect on the screen. So right now we can notice the angle gives a different look. Let's try to simulate the beams group. Selecting all the laser group, locating it. Now add FX to the laser beam group and let's see how it behaves. Select add FX, intensity, dim chase and the moment you pick dim chase, make sure to change the add mode to absolute. So now if you see this has a different look. Uh, playing with the timings. Uh, let's try to play with the laser and beam combination. Let's see how it happens. Laser dim, locating it. Select a beam, add FX, intensity, dim chase. And when you add an FX to beam, you get a glow on the beam look kind of an effect. So let's increase the speed. That's how the effect looks. This is one uh, kind of style. Let's try to play with this fade value. Okay, so this speeds up the uh, effect. So that's pretty much how you uh, work with laser. You can achieve different effects on laser using the methods which I've shown you on the screen. 
once you're happy with the look record it to a fader and then again bring it back to unreal engine using take recorder we recently uh, discussed the uh, elaborate tutorial on recording sequencing in unreal engine i'm also sharing the link on the screen right away so do see that video if you haven't seen that to change the color of laser we can do it with an unreal engine select all the laser make sure to stop before you change any settings in unreal that's very important so with all the laser selected I'm changing this to green now and the moment you hit play uh, this green is different let's uh, pick a darker shade of green yeah this is better this is how you change a uh, color of laser you can also change it to blue okay so we have blue color now so that's the workflow of laser hope you all uh, found this useful i'll see you all soon on another tutorial do subscribe to the channel do share it to your friends and family who would be interested to learn basics of dmx workflow i am rajshekar signing out see you bye